This section is going to be one of the longer sections in the course because we're going to cover one of the core topics for the CCNA exam and also for your work as a network engineer as well and that is the spanning tree protocol. I'll start off with a review of how path selection and loop prevention works at layer 3 with our routing protocols and then we'll get into the spanning tree information. I'll explain why we need to have spanning tree to prevent loops in the layer 2 part of the network. We'll cover the terminology, go into detail with examples of how spanning tree works, cover off the different versions how to verify what spanning tree is actually doing when it's just working automatically out of the box and also how to configure it so that it's going to act the way that you actually want it to and how to verify that as well. We'll also speak about how to align the paths that spanning tree takes with your HSRP configuration and finally we'll cover portfast and bbtu guard okay so spanning tree let's get started 